There's nothing but blackness all around me. Silence ringing through the emptiness of my mind. I come here sometimes. To hide. To run away from the reality that waits for my eyes to open. Here there is nothing. Here is where I block out everything in existence. Even myself. I can never stay here for long, though. No matter how hard I try, I can never stay. He won't let me. He always makes sure my eyes will open again. I'm a prisoner when I open my eyes. All I can ever see is the dimly lit cell that I'm forced to live in. Damp. Dank, the smell of rot and decay. I hate my imprisonment. Hate that I'm forced to endure this day in and day out, so I made myself a place to go. I didn't want to go anywhere in particular. It's dangerous out there, so I decided on nothingness. I decided that emptiness, where nothing exists, would be the safest place to be. I wasn't the only one to be imprisoned here. There were others before my arrival, and there's been more since. I'm not sure what happens to them, though. I've just heard their screams when my eyes were open. Heard their cries and their pleas to be free. To not have to be here. I'm not sure where they are, because all I ever see is my cell. I'm never let out. I can't remember how long I've been here. I can't recall the smell of fresh air, what it looks like outside. What I look like. I go to this place wherever I can, but especially when I hear him coming to me. I can hear the sounds of metal doors dragging, chains being undone, and when I hear him right on the other side of that door, I fade away. I'm not completely sure what happens to me while I'm away, because during that time there's nothing. Silence. Peace. Death without dying. But eventually my eyes open again and I see once more. I see what is left of me. I see the blood everywhere. He's cut off another part of my leg. He's now halfway up the shit of my left leg. He's already taken the right leg completely. The blood is all over the concrete floor. He'll come back later to spray it off with a hose, but I won't be here when he returns. I will be in nothing. I think he's already taken my arms, because I haven't seen them for some time now. Maybe I'm tied? I'm not sure. My body's nearly numb now. I feel soon I may close my eyes and be one with my nothing and not have to worry about this anymore, but I think that's just a fantasy. He always makes sure my eyes will open again. How much of me can he take? How much of me is left? Before I went nowhere, I was scared. The sound of the bone saw ripping through my flesh. I used to watch the blood spray onto his face as he cut through me, humming a happy tune with a smile, occasionally wiping off his goggles so that he could see what he was doing. I don't know what he does with me, but I'm sure that soon enough he will have more of me there than what is left here. Now I go to my nothing whenever I can. There I don't have to hear the screams of the others, the sounds of the saw, or sometimes the abrupt end to the screaming. Is he eating us? Selling our parts? Getting rid of the bodies before we're even dead? I don't know. It doesn't even matter anymore. I know I can't be free again. I have nothing to run with. I'm nearly just a torso sitting here trapped in my own hell. The only freedom is nothing. I can hear the doors. I must go. I must, I must return to nothing.